Court of Appeal is after issuing its decision in the Ami Burke appeal uh, over her WRC case. She appealed the High Court decision to throw her appeal out against the WRC. She appealed that High Court decision to the Court of Appeal and the Court of Appeal has issued its judgment now and it has described Miss Burke's, Ami Burke's behaviour as utterly appalling and egregious. The High Court was justified according to the Court of Appeal in dismissing Ami Burke's case against the WRC mid-hearing is the decision of the Court of Appeal. Mr Justice Seamus Noonan said he listened to an audio recording of the High Court hearing and concluded that Miss Burke's behaviour was utterly appalling and egregious. As a practising solicitor, Miss Burke professes to take her duties as an officer of the court very seriously and yet repeatedly indulges in the most contemptuous conduct when before the court in a deliberate and premeditated manner, he said. Her conduct was part of a continuous and calculated pattern of behaviour, not just on this occasion before the High Court, but over many days before the Workplace Relations Commission and again before the Court of Appeal, he added. Mr Justice Noonan said that this type of rare and exceptional circumstance uh, justified the High Court's Miss Justice Marguerite Bulger using her discretion to dismiss Miss Burke's challenge to the WRC's rejection of her claim of unfair dismissal from the law firm Arthur Cox in 2019 and the Court of Appeal dismissed her appeal. Miss Burke's WRC complaint alleged that she was unfairly dismissed from Arthur Cox in late 2019 uh, was dismissed due to persistent interruptions from the Burke family at the WRC. Arthur Cox denied that she was unfairly dismissed. Miss Justice Bulger then threw her out her case in the middle of its hearing last May due to what the judge described as Miss Burke's blatant abuse of the court process. Last week then the Court of Appeal cut short an oral hearing of Miss Burke's appeal of the High Court decision amid persistent protestations from Miss Burke over the judge's earlier rejection of her application seeking the recusal of Mr Justice George Birmingham. They said her grounds for seeking the recusal, including that the judge ruled against her imprisoned brother Enoch Burke, did not remotely approach the threshold to require or justify the judge stepping aside. The judges concluded the oral hearing to determine the case based on legal documents as Miss Burke continued to re-agitate her recusal application and the decision that's been issued today is that decision from the Court of Appeal based on the written legal documents, the written submissions. In his judgment on Tuesday, that's today, Mr Justice Noonan said Miss Burke based her appeal on nine grounds, one of which related to her failed application, asking Miss Justice Bulger to step aside due to an alleged apprehension of bias on her part. He was satisfied that Miss Burke failed by a wide margin to demonstrate anything that might be regarded as establishing an objective bias on the part of the judge. The judge said what occurred during the High Court hearing on May the 4th, 2023 is certainly beyond my experience and absolutely unacceptable. Her conduct, he said, was calculated to preclude the WRC and Arthur Cox from vindicating their right to a fair hearing, he said. She sought to prevent them making submissions, which is the very antithesis of the due administration of justice and an affront to the rule of law. Miss Burke rather extraordinarily suggested in her appeal that the High Court, in lieu of dismissing her claim, should have adjourned the hearing and excluded her from the court, Mr Justice Noonan said. There is no basis upon which it could reasonably be said that the judge should have continued the case by excluding Miss Burke when she, as the claimant, had manifestly brought about the collapse of the claim herself. The right of access to the court is not absolute and brings with it certain obligations, he said. The court process is available for people who seek to resolve genuine disputes and is not a platform to enable parties to ventilate complaints or express views, opinions and beliefs beyond the immediate dispute. He gave a provisional view that the WRC and Arthur Cox are entitled to their legal costs, but said he will receive submissions if any party contends otherwise. So that is, and that's the reporting from the Irish Times, that is uh, Eleanor Reardon is the Irish Times reporter that covered that case 
and this is the Court of Appeal decision in the Ami Burke appeal over her case against the WRC and over the dismissal of her case by Miss Justice Marguerite Bulger in May 2023 uh, from the High Court. That's the story there.